Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So In this video, I will explain to you about the industry building allowance Okay, uh, while watching this video, I really hope that you will have the Malaysian taxation book, the textbook with you just next to you so that at any time you can just like cross wrap it with whatever I'm presenting. Okay, uh, so uh, the industry building allowance, if you were to look at uh, the legislation, it is stated as under Schedule 3 of ITA. 1967 it is under schedule 3 so whatever you whenever you come across the word schedule 3 so you should know that in the tax computation i believe that you have you you are supposed to be very familiar with the tax computation last semester for business income you have the net profit and you are going to do the adjustment yang tambah tolak tu until you will derive at adjusted income once you derive at adjusted income you're going to minus out the capital allowance and then you are going to derive at statutory business income okay so whatever item being um, uh, classified under schedule 3 maksudnya that item dia akan duduk di sini in between adjusted income in arriving at statutory business income so the industry building allowance is also under schedule 3 meaning to say industry building allowance also will be deducted uh, after we derive at adjusted income so kita tolak kat sini juga okay the only difference is that uh, for so uh, untuk mana-mana business Whenever you derive at your adjusted income, you can minus out these two items, okay? If you are entitled to claim for it, okay? Uh, so, <clears throat> again, here, uh, we are going to take a look at what the industry, build, uh, industry building allowance is all about. Uh, the thing is that industry building allowance, the way you compute it and the format of the industry building allowance is very similar to the capital allowance because both are under Schedule 3 and the way of computing it is very similar. It's more or less the same. Okay, the only difference is that capital allowance is given to any businesses, any businesses when this business incurred capital expenditure Okay, capital expenditure tadi ingat eh, uh, dalam tax computation net profit nak sampai adjusted income tu yang boleh tolak cuma revenue expenditure. Capital expenditure tak boleh tolak. But what happen, certain capital expenditure yang dapat status qualifying capital expenditure, dia akan dapat allowance. Dia dapat tolak. Tapi allow, uh, tolak dia bukan lamsam. Dia sikit-sikit. That's why we call it allowance. So, dia boleh tolak di sini. Okay. Dia boleh tolak di sini. Uh, di sini, under schedule 3 ni maksudnya dia berkaitan dengan qualifying capital expenditure. Capital expenditure yang tak boleh tolak dekat sini. Nak sampai just the income tak boleh tolak. Tapi boleh tolak di bawah sini. Di bawah adjusted is just the income not derived kepada statutory basis income but we cannot deduct it apa uh, dengan lump sum kita dapat sikit-sikit that's why we are going to call it capital allowance okay so dia pun sama juga industrial building allowance pun dia sama that's why if you were to look at this uh, let me just wipe it out first okay if not it will look like pretty messy here Okay, so if you were to look at um, uh, the notes here, it says that, okay, uh, industrial building allowance is given on the CE. CE stands for capital expenditure. It is given on the capital expenditure. Oh, sorry, it's too big. Okay. It's given on the capital expenditure that qualify as QBE. Okay, QBE is stand for qualifying building expenditure don't just get uh, apa yourself so confused ingat eh, masa capital allowance itu hari dia kena incur capital expenditure capital expenditure yang nak dapat capital allowance dia mestilah dapat status QCE 
QCE ialah qualifying capital expenditure. Sebab last semester awak belajar untuk plan and missionary saja kan. So QCE ni dia ada nama khas dia. QCE ni macam dia punya types dia. Dia punya jenis dia ialah qualifying capital expenditure. Tapi qualifying capital expenditure untuk plan and missionary kita call dia sebagai QPE. So capital allowance awak panggil dia dulu QPE. Now untuk industry building allowance pun sama juga. Okay, we are going to give industrial building allowance kalau orang tu ada business dan dia incur capital expenditure. Capital expenditure ni pula jatuh bawah kategori qualifying capital expenditure. Tapi because the capital expenditure that we are talking about is building, industrial building, so the status QCE ni kita akan panggil sebagai qualifying building expenditure. So the nature of the QBE, nature dia ialah capital expenditure. Tak boleh tolak dalam nak sampai adjusted income tapi boleh tolak dalam schedule 3 which is after kita derive kat adjusted income. Okay, clear? Uh, so, that's why kat sini the word says that um, industry building allowance is given uh, if the business incur capital expenditure that qualify uh, itself as QBE, qualifying building expenditure. Kat mana nak guna dia? IBA will be deducted against the adjusted income in arriving at statutory business income. I've shown you earlier tadi. Net profit, patah buat, buat adjustment, add back apa semua tu. You are going to draft at adjusted business income. From this adjusted business income, tolak capital allowance and now we are going to minus out another one industry building. Allowance then only we are going to derive at statutory business income. Okay. So now let's take a look at the list of industry building. Okay, we are going to look at when we talk about industry building, what do come uh, to your mind about industry building? Okay, industry building ni apa? So IBA is very specific. IBA is very specific. Only for business yang ada industry building, lepas tu they incur pula QBE, only this type of business yang boleh claim industry building. Dia tak sama dengan capital allowance. Capital allowance ni given kepada plan MSC Neri. So, regardless of whatever business that you venture into, mesti akan ada plant ataupun machinery. Computer ke, mesti ada perabot. So, all sort of business, regardless from whatever industry, semua boleh claim capital allowance. But, untuk orang yang nak claim IBA, dia sangat specific. You can only claim for IBA kalau first awak ada business dan dalam business tu memang kena ada industry building and you need to incur QBE. Then only you can claim IBA. Hmm. Boleh faham ah? Okay, so now what we are going to do is that at this point of view, uh, sorry, at this point of time, we are going to take a look at the list of industry building. What sort of building can be classified as, as industrial building? In order to do so, I want you to take out your textbook, turn to page 340. Okay, and what you need to do is that take a look at item 2.0 and 4.0. Okay, while we are going through the list of the industrial building uh, status, ni, uh, we can straight away look at the rate, okay, the, the IBA rate for such building. When we talk about the rate, basically, the rate ni can be divided into two. We can divide it into two, where you are going to have general rate and also specific rates. If it's general rate, okay, if it's general rate, dia punya IA dia ialah, um, AA dia will always be 10%, IA dia 3%. This is general rate. Okay, so if you were to go through your textbook nanti, bila awak baca textbook, when you look at page 340, item number 2.0 and 4.0, dalam ni kalau textbook tu silent, dia tak mention langsung pasal uh, IBA rate, maksudnya dia pakai yang general rate. Kalau general rate, IA would always be 10%. AA would always be 3%. Okay? 
tapi if you were, when you go through the list suddenly they come up with a rate dia punya own rate sendiri for that industry building maksudnya dia tak pakailah yang general dia pakai yang spare specific basically specific rate ni it depends on the types of the industry building dia ada tiga je kategori dia sama ada kategori dia dia akan jadi IA RA dia 40%, AA 3% ataupun RA dia 10%, uh, AA dia 6% or there will be no RA tapi AA akan jadi 10%. So kalau spesifik ni pecah pecah berapa tadi saya kata? Dia pecah 3 saja. Okey dia pecah 3 macam ni. Yang first kali RA dia 4 40%, AA dia 3%. Ini satu puak. Yang kedua I A uh, apa uh, sorry A A dia sama yang 10% eh oh, ya Allah itu aku sorry I'm so sorry the I A is 10% A A dia equal to 6% and another one I A dia tak ada tapi A A dia 10% so this is all that we are going to have Okay, tapi kita akan go through dua benda ni sekali. When we go through the list of industry building allowance, straight away kita akan check dia punya rate. Okay, uh, ini yang saya akan buat sekarang dengan awak orang lah. So, please take out your textbook at the moment. Uh, uh, page uh, 340 and also item uh, 240 dan juga uh, 2.0 and 4.0. But... Uh, untuk uh, kita punya purpose lecture hari ni in order to make it um, tak terlalu panjang eh, video ni punya recording session dia saya akan refer kepada textbook awak uh, page 361 ok but it uh, you must read ok I'm going to say that you have to read item 2.0 dengan 4.0 please read these two um, apa uh, item that we have in your textbook but the one that I showed you is uh, listed uh, at the end of the apa, chapter industry building allowance where the author they come up dengan summary from what that we have okay so basically kalau kita tengok kat sini dalam summary ni Dia ada item number one. Item number one ni dia ambil daripada textbook page 340 item 2.0. So, dia make it simpler macam ni. So, dia kata the first building that will be entitled as industrial building, the first one ialah dog wharf jetty or other similar building. So, meaning to say dog wharf jetty ni uh, macam buat pelabuhan lah. Uh, macam orang lain buat parking kereta if you were to go to any shopping complexes ke mana ke bangunan mana dia ada apa parking yang berbayar kan ok yang tu parking untuk kereta yang ni untuk ship untuk yacht ok so kita buat business business kita ialah kita provide JT dock or wharf so that any ship and yacht they can apa dock dekat situ and they have to pay a some amount of money sebagai sewa tempat untuk berlabuh tu so kita yang buat business yang ni JT dock wharf tu ialah industrial building we can claim IBA Dia pakai general rate, IA 10%, AA 3%. Untuk semua item ni, dia pakai general rate. Bukan ni saja sampai ke bawah ni. Okay, lepas tu what else? Warehouse let up to public. Warehouse let up to public is there. When you open up a business and uh, our business is actually we set up warehouse. Kita buat banyak-banyak gudang. Okay, buat banyak warehouse dan warehouse ni kita sewa untuk orang lain letak bar barang. Normally the warehouse dia akan situated kat mana? Dekat pelabuhan lah. Kalau perasan kat pelabuhan selalu they have a lot of warehouse kan, gudang tu. Uh, so, uh, warehouse is also an industrial building. Dia pakai general rate. The next one is that building used by utilities and telecommunication, telecommunication supplier to supply services. This is um, specifically uh, uh, untuk orang yang dalam business utilities. Okay, utilities. So, we have like TNB, Lembaga Air Perak, apa, Selangor apa nama? Uh, lembaga air selangor tu apa I can't remember lah uh, Okay Syabas Okay Syabas uh, Lepas tu uh, Syabas lah ya tak ada air 
uh, we also have like macam Cellcom, TM apa semua okay TM uh, in order dia nak uh, generate uh, the services providing kat kita tu dia akan buat bangunan macam pencawang kalau telkom apa semua selkom tu telco dia ada pencawang semua so all this pencawang uh, dia buat empangan ke apa itu juga ialah industrial building so for those company yang involved in this dia boleh reduce lah dia punya tax so basically kalau orang tanya awak IBA ni bagus atau tidak The answer would be very good lah Because daripada adjusted income Nak sampai statutory business income Dia kita akan tolak dalam tax com So meaning to say Our income will be lesser So dia bagus Alright Let's continue from here Building use in the working of a mine or farm Buat business ladang Ataupun mining, pelombongan And we have to build Building kat situ Maybe untuk store barang kita ke apa That building is an industrial building Dia akan pakai rate general rate Okay So number satu kita settle Number two is about factory Factory pun Kalau awak tengok dalam textbook awak It is under item 2.0 So yang ni tadi under 2.0, this is under 2.0, factory is also under 2.0. Okay, so you need to ask yourself, what is factory? Dia kata kat sini factory ialah building equipped with plan and machinery for manufacturing or processing. Dia bangunan tu ada plan and machinery kita gunakan untuk manufacturing ataupun pro processing. Kita proses. Okay, katakanlah dia mesti ada macam ni. Dia mesti ada input, ada proses, manufacturing proses dan akan dapat out, output. Output dengan input mesti benda yang tak sama. So, kat mana yang ada benda ni berlaku, itu ialah factory. So, the rate for factory is general rate which is IA 10%, AA 3%. Pesan. Dia kata building to house tempat kita letak plant machinery use in manufacturing or processing or use for power generation in manufacturing or processing. Yang ni pun ialah industrial building. Dia masuk kategori factory juga. Lepas tu dia kata apart from that apa lagi? Meal, workshop, use for repair or servicing of goods. Okay. Kita ada factory. Lepas tu kita ada workshop. Kita guna untuk repair ataupun nak servis balik barang kita. So, the workshop itself, workshop atau mill tu juga ialah industrial building. With, uh, building within the same cartilage to factory used for storage of raw materials, fuel or stores or products or materials prior to sales. Okay, this is your factory. Ni factory area kat sini jadinya manufacturing processes. Tapi ni kita buat storeroom. Storeroom ni kita simpan semualah. Raw material kita kesimpan kat sini. Finish good pun simpan kat sini. Yang factory is an industry building can claim apa IBA. But the question is that how about your... How about the storeroom ni? Storeroom ni jadi tak industry building? Dia kata jadi industry building with a condition. Dia ada syarat. Syarat dia building tu mestilah building ni dia refer kepada store tu lah. Storeroom tu it must be within the same cartilage to the factory used for the storage of raw materials. Apa maksud bang apa storeroom tu kena same cartilage? Storeroom must be within same cartilage with the fact Maksud within the same cartilage yang first kali dia mesti attach Dia mesti attach Contoh, this is your factory and this is your store room Attach kan? Bersambung kan? So, store room ni jadi industry building Yang kedua, kalau dia tak attach pun dia must be adjacent Contoh adjacent ialah This is your factory and your store room kat sini Dia tak attach tapi dia ada bumbung. Katalah ni laluan pejalan kaki. Okay. Ha, laluan jalan kaki ni ada dia attach. This is storeroom. Ini pun akan jadi industrial building. We are going to classify the storeroom as part of the industrial building. Yang ketiga. Dia kata apa? Mesti within. Within. Same. Enclosure. 
Mana saya tahu semua ni? Saya baca dalam buku. Factory ni duduk dalam page 340 ah. Page 340 item 2.0. Tapi dalam page 340 dia ada ada point 3.0. 3.0 dia bagi definition of factory. Ni, semua ni dia dapat dalam 3.0. Okay, dia kata within the same enclosure with the factory. Contoh, this is the factory where the manufacturing process is being carried out. Okay, katalah factory ni duduk dekat uh, gama. Ni, ingat balik your ITM tak apa, dia duduk dekat gama. Storeroom dia duduk dekat greenhouse. Very far, jauh. Tak ada pun bumbung, sambung semua tak ada. Tapi still, storeroom ni tetap jadi industrial building sebab dia duduk dalam same enclosure. enclosure. The same enclosure. Enclosure kat sini maksudnya pagar UITM lah. Okay, dia still lagi duduk dalam within satu area. Dia layak jadi industrial building. Dan rate dia ialah general rate. Uh, the, the IA is 10% and the AA is 3%. Okay. Okay. Next one, okay. Yang next one ni starting from this ni, dekat sini ni, starting daripada sini, semua dalam buku awak, page 341, item 4.0. It's all stated there. Okay, so sekarang ni kita tengok. Dia kata apa yang first one? Canteen, restroom, recreation room, lavatory, bathhouse, bathroom, washroom for employees. So, uh, kita ada kilang, for example, factory. Lepas tu kita buatlah kantin ke kafe ke apa semua. It doesn't matter janji benda tu for benefit of the employee. Untuk employee pakai, bangunan yang tu pun yang kantin, kafe, washroom semua. This is also an industrial building. Ini uh, even though manufacturing activity tak buat kat sini, dia akan jadi industrial building. Because the government, uh, they promote Uh, the company uh, to provide a convenient workplace lah to the apa nama uh, workers tapi dengan syarat dia ialah industrial building betul kena exist lah dah ada factory baru buat benda ni boleh ok uh, now next one building for welfare of workings and living accommodation for employees working in a farm in he untuk pekerja yang kerja di ladang when you have workers who works in the farm dia kata apa uh, workers who work in the farm dia kata kita buat living accommodation kat dia yang living accommodation yang kita buat rumah kongsi ke apa itu juga industry building boleh claim IBA Okay, with a condition employee ni dia mesti pekerja pekerja betul. Dia tak boleh director, tak boleh orang daripada bahagian admin, tak boleh orang daripada bahagian management. Admin ni jadi kerani pun tak boleh. Clerical staff pun kalau duduk dalam ni dia tak layak dapat. Dia mesti employee betul. And the rate is 10 and 3 persen. Ni untuk ladang. Okay, lepas tu dia kata apa pula? Public roads and ancillary structures recoverable through tools. Public road, jalan umum. Public road, jalan tu sendiri ialah industrial building. Dia sendiri ialah industrial building. Okay, so how about uh, jalan daripada tapah nak main tapah road? Tapah nak ke tapah road? Itu industrial building ke? The answer is no. Sebab apa? Sebab yang tu jalan percuma tak ada tool. Yang dapat status industry building, dia mesti ada tool collection. Why it is so? Because syarat nak dapat IBA ke capital allowance ke first and foremost, orang tu mestilah buat bis business with profit making profit making uh, attention. So, Yang buat jalan from tapah ke tapah road is government. Government is not making any profit. They don't run business. Sebab tu jalan yang jalan raya biasa ni bukan industrial building. Yang jadi status industrial building ya untuk kategori case apa? Uh, public road ni ialah high highway. Sebab dia ada tool collection. Untuk apa-apa awak tengok, ha, sepatutnya jalan raya ni government yang buat highway tu. Because the government uh, due to certain constraint, dia pun tak buat. Dia pun hand over the contract to corporate yang buat. Company yang buat. Company nak dapat balik dia punya untung. That's why dia kena buat tool collection. So here, apa-apa benda yang company buat on behalf of government, rate dia akan jadi 10 dengan 
6. Boleh ya? Rate dia akan jadi 10 dengan 6. Okay, now sambung lagi. Kita still lagi dekat ni ya. Uh, list of industry building. Benda apa yang dapat status industry building? Okay. The next one, number 6. Okay, building on build list transfer basis approved by Ministry of Finance. Apa-apa building, bangunan kerajaan. Tapi bukan kerajaan yang uh, construct bangunan because government tak ada duit ke whatsoever. This through company yang construct. Lepas tu kerajaan tu duduk dekat bangunan yang mereka company tu buat tadi. Dia kena bayar sewa bulan-bulan. After few years, baru bangunan ni company ni akan hand over kepada GAR government. So bagi company yang sewakan construct and sewa bangunan ni kepada government, company tu boleh claim I B A. Rate pakai 10 and 6. Remember I've said earlier whatever industry building corporate buat, company buat bagi untuk purpose of government, dia akan pakai rate 10 dengan 6. Okay, the next one is private hospital, maternity home and nursing home. Private hospital, hospital persendirian yang kita kena bayar. In Ipoh, we have quite a number of it where you're going to have Ipoh specialist, KPJ, Pantai Hospital and so on. Yang ni, the bangunan tu sendiri, itu juga industrial building. So, KPJ apa semua boleh claim industrial building allowance lah. Rate dia ialah general rate. Another one is that building used for research uh, ataupun tak, tak kisah. It doesn't matter whether it is constructed or purchased but must be for the purpose of not but research yang approved by MOF. MOF is stand for Ministry of Finance approved by approved research company institute, research and development company, contract research and development contract. Yang ni rate dia ialah 10 plus uh, 10 untuk IA, AA, AA3 percent. Okay, the next one dia kata ni benda lain lah. Warehouse use for the storage of goods for export. Ataupun barang tu kita import. Okay, goods to to process for distribution imported goods to be re-exported. Kita ada warehouse. Warehouse ni sama ada kita construct ataupun kita purchase dan kita guna dia untuk tujuan apa? To store Goods for export. Barang yang kita simpan situ bagi tujuan kita nak export. Ataupun barang tu barang yang kita import. Okay. Kita import barang masuk letak kat warehouse kita. Dan kita apa um, kita nak proses dia. Lepas nak proses kita nak distribute. Ha, kalau yang ni pun masuk kategori tu. And another one imported goods to be re-exported. Re re kita import barang. Barang masuk Malaysia duduk sekejap kat sini. Dalam warehouse ni sebab apa? Kita nak di nak export balik dia ke luar negara, negara. So for the warehouse that fall under this category, there will be no IA and the AA is 10%. Okay, next one, building use in approved service project approved by MOF. Okay, and you baca sendiri, hotel. Hotel pun sama. Bangunan hotel sendiri ialah industrial building. Same thing goes with airport. Airport tu, airport yang dalam tu lah yang ada aircon, fully aircon semua termasuk juga runway. Runway tu landasan kapal terbang. Lepas tu kita ada motor racing circuit. Motor racing circuit, sepang, apa, racing circuit for example, the rate dia semua general. Great. Lepas tu here, we have another one of living accommodation. Yang earlier on kita baca living accommodation untuk orang yang kerja di ladang. Now living accommodation, uh, dia kata apa? Untuk employees. Tapi employees employees dia syarat sama macam yang kat ladang tadi tu. Dia mestilah bukan staff admin, bukan director, bukan yang how to say Uh, bukan orang yang pegang jawatan admin ke manager, managerial punya task semua tak boleh dia mesti pekerja betul ya ok so dia kata kat sini yang ni dia akan pakai rate IA 40% AA 3% dia constructed building dengan syarat industry building dulu mesti exist lah ok number 14 dan 15 sama beza dia ialah apa beza dia industry 
kalau company yang provide living accommodation for employees tu dia dalam manufacturing hotel dengan tourism business approve service project apa semua ni dia pakai rate IA tak ada AA 10% tapi kalau dia industri yang lain daripada manufacturing dia lain daripada manufacturing hotel dengan tourism business dia akan pakai 43 alright Number 16 is about child care center. It's about child care center for employees. Okay, the child care center ni, dia kata, it can either be constructed ataupun purchased. Kita buat business, business kita provide child care center. Uh, sorry, uh, kita buat business yang berbeza. Uh, okay, kita buat business yang berbeza, katalah kita buka factory kilang. Tapi dekat kawasan kilang tu, kita uh, open up uh, a child care center. Di mana anak-anak pekerja boleh duduk di situ. Pekerja letak anak mereka dekat child care center. The government said, boleh apa dapat IBA. Akan dapat IBA tapi rate dia 10% AA tak ada I, tak ada IA. Okay, child care center for employees tak kisahlah constructed ataupun purchased. Alright, next one. Okay, school or educational institution approved by Ministry of Finance for constructed or purchased uh, building. Yang ni kita buat business. Business kita, kita buka private school. Ataupun awak buka apa private international, uh, international uh, bukan international, apa IPTA tu apa? Institute lah. Institute pengajian swasta. Okay, private uh, higher institution ke apa semua. Yang kita ni buat business yang tu. Contoh KDU, Taylor's College, uh, 10B International School semua tu. Yang bangunan classroom, uh, dia punya lecture theater semua akan jadi industrial building. IA tak ada, AA3, uh, sorry, AA10%. Next one, building for industrial technical or vocational training approved by Ministry of Finance. Yang ni pun sama 10%, AA tak ada. Old Fort Care Center, awak buka business. Business awak ialah buka pusat penjagaan orang tua-tua. People have to pay in order to be in your uh, premises. So, dia kata constructor ataupun purchase building. Dia Old Fort Care, Care Center, dia punya AA dia ialah 10%. IA tak ada. Okay. Building used by MSC company, pro, apa, uh, company, MSC status company. Sama ada kita construct ataupun kita, kita purchase, it doesn't matter. Okay, tapi dia akan dapat 10% AA. IA tak ada. Building used by Bionexus status company pun dapat privatization project and private financing scheme yang ni sama 10 dengan 6. Macam case kita di UITM Tapah lah. Have you ever heard orang kata UITM Tapah PFI? PFI tu private lah. Private Financing Institution. Okay. So, ini pun uh, company yang turun construct, dia boleh tolak tax lah of 2.6 million. Eh, sorry. Ketiba-tiba uh, 2.6 million pula, Sopak Azim. Uh, privatization Project and Private Financing Scheme ni, dia akan dapat uh, 10% dengan 6%. The next one is kindergarten. Buka business and your business is that to set up a kindergarten, a private kindergarten. Kalau bangunan tu kita construct dengan purchase, dapat 10%. My question to you, how about kalau kalau if you go to tadi, dia, semua dia kata constructed purchase, constructed purchase. Dia tak mention about rental. Macam mana kalau bangunan tu dia rented out? Bangunan tadi ke dia tu, dia sewa. Dia sewa daripada orang lain. Boleh tak claim IBA? The answer is cannot. Tak boleh. Sebab bayar rental, dia bukan capital expenditure. Tapi dia ialah revenue expenditure. Revenue expenditure boleh tolak terus. Ingat eh? Net profit. Ni ni kat sini. Kala merah dia jadi. Macam sikit kepala sikit. Net profit. Nak sampai ke adjusted business income tadi tu. Uh, sini tolak capital allowance kan Dia boleh tolak Revenue expenditure boleh tolak So rental tadi tolak kat sini That's why dia tak dapat dia IBA IBA is only given Kalau it is a constructed Ataupun purchase building 
Boleh faham ah? Ha? Ha. <coughs> okay, saya continue. Now, oops, okay. Kita kata dah, now take a look at childcare center. Lain eh, tadika dengan taska lain. This is taska. Ni tadika. Apa beza dia cari sendiri. Okay, yang ni pun sama juga. Dapat 10% juga. And last but not least, Tun Raza Exchange Marki. Yang ni pun dapat juga 10%. Yang ni you have to read your book. Dia dalam 14, uh, sorry 14 pula. 4.0 punya item, dia 4.17 ke 4 point berapa ada kat situ. Okay, yang 1MDB punya isu kat sini lah. Tanah tu kerajaan punya jual dekat 1MDB. Uh, Lepas tu yang MDB develop, dia jual balik ke orang lain. Okay. Yang dia jual tu company yang belilah. Ha, company yang beli tu duduk kat dalam tu Raza Exchange Marquee status company ni. Dia pakai bagi apa punya ni pula. Ha. Awak tengok nanti dia dapat 10%. AA 10% no RA Dan kena ingat eh, yang untuk living accommodation tadi syarat dia Employee tu tak termasuk siapa Tak boleh ada director Individual having control of the business Individual who is a member of management Admin ataupun clerical staff Tak boleh Okay so I will end my first video dekat sini So dalam first video ni We only answer this item je Kita cuma touch yang ni je baru Okay, kita baru tengok dekat list of industry building dan the rate dia. Okay, so next video I will talk about the QBE pula, qualifying building expand. Dice, with that, thank you for listening. Hope you can gain a lot from here. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.